Everybody, welcome back to the channel. We picked it back up. We're starting a little bit of uh, painting, uh, some how-to videos. We got a new pattern for you today. It's a thread fin pattern, ghost with chrome. Pretty cool little pattern. I think it's going to be really good for clear water situations, uh, especially this fall when those bass are out chasing in the back of those creeks and running those shad up onto those shallow bars. So uh, this is the one we're going to put to action. Come on, join me. Let's go spray some paint. All right, we got our deep little in here. Uh, we purchased these uh, from Lurinet.com. These are original Norman Bates. Uh, they come to you blank. Cool little setup. If you hadn't seen that, uh, I'll leave a link in the description above and in the or in the description below. Uh, may even put a card up there at the top right corner. But anyway. Um, so what we're going to do on this, we want this to be a, a, a transparent pattern or a ghost pattern. But what we're going to do is we're going to put some gills on this. And uh, so I've cut out just out of some painter's tape here, a little uh, mask. Uh, to where what we want is we want these gills uh, to be solid. and uh, Most of the chrome... Uh, is going to be there, and we really want that to stand out, really not a lot of light to trans uh, go through that, that portion of it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down a little black, and uh, to get this chrome to work, we need some gloss black, and then we'll go with our Quicksilver chrome. So I don't even know if you can find this anymore, Auto Air. I'm sure they got it. I've had it quite a while. little heat set it's really not going to matter all that much because And there's a couple of different ways you can do this, but we're going to show you this method the first time, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the mask. Uh, the other thing we're going to do, I might ought to get some light on in here for you. How about that? We're going to have the belly of the bait. Just the very center.
Is this going to be a really bright chrome? Let's make sure we... We'll come back over with our 4104 Quicksilver Chrome by Createx. And we're just going to do a real light dusting of the entire bait. Again, we want it to be transparent. Except where them gills are. Next thing we're going to do is come over that with a uh, some pearl white. Put our mask back over. Should be dry enough now. Hit that with just a touch of chrome again, just lightly. Do just a little bit of shading with that gill to make it kind of pop. So I'm mainly going to be spraying on the tape. Tip dryer. That's it, just a little bit.
We're just using a little bit of that gloss black. You want very light, very light. All right, so now we got a little bit of a gill there. And now we're going to also add just a little more definition to that. Put a little bit of shading behind it. Break it up just a little bit using that same black. Again, just spraying mainly on the stencil. Putting a little bit of definition in that gill plate. All right, we've got a candy uh, carbide blue. That we're going to darken the top and the back with. And we're going to scale it. And then just very lightly. We're going to hit that back. Inside. From the tail to the gill. Just let a little bit of that blue fall down that back. And we'll go bit of that blue candy kind of knock a little bit of that scale pattern down just a little bit go ahead and touch the nose up with some black on the tip Up in the head just a little bit. And we need our candy yellow. It's two or three drops. And we're going to put us a uh, yellow stripe and right below that notch to the tip of that tail all i'm doing is lining it up that black gill plate and the hook hanger
need us a little black shad dot. And I like the irregular looking one. Right here behind the gill plate. There's our chrome ghost. I don't know if you can tell in the, but it'll be transparent, allow light pass through it. Last thing I'm gonna do is just spritz a little bit of this black over the back. Paint some eyes on. All right, so we've incorporated, uh, again, just to kind of give you a rundown, we've got a gloss black, which really helps the chrome to uh, pop. We've done the Quicksilver chrome over the entire body, including the gill plates, and we came over the belly, which I'm sure you're not picking that up, but we put a little bit of that pearlescent, pearlescent white um, over the front half of the belly. Uh, we dusted the back with a candy, uh, Candy 2O, Auto Air, uh, Carbide Blue, scaled the back with it, and then we done a Candy Yellow stripe on the side. I do want to add just a little bit of gold, just a spot on the gill, uh, just to kind of break up that chrome just a little bit so we'll add a little bit of gold to our airbrush and the ghost chrome thread pin will be completed It's really going to have a nice little look to it once we get the clear coat on it. Uh, we'll do some uh, final picks here at the end of the video. We appreciate you stopping in and watching the channel. Uh, we're going to try to keep this thing going here through uh, the winter months. And I'm going to try to get out and throw this thing on my clear water body 
lake here locally. And these old shad are running back here in the back of the creeks. Also going to list this on the website. If anybody be interested in a chrome thread fin pattern, hit me up, greencountrybaits.com. Till next week, Green Country signing out.